In this video, we're going to look at axes of symmetry. You can see here in this square, we have four axes of symmetry. Can I can I cut it in half and have a mirror image on the other side? And you can see there are four ways to do that. That way, straight down, my straight across, and my other diagonal. Four axes of symmetry in a square. What about a rectangle? We just have two. Here and here, so either one will cut it in half. An equilateral triangle, there's three. So just remember that. And we will get to this point at Leibniz here. We'll see a relationship here with these sides, or the relationship of the ratio between the lengths of these sides between here and here, and here and here. Isosceles triangle just has one straight down. Pentagon. Pentagon has as many sides. One, two, three, four, five. You'll know that. From your knowledge of junior school and it has five axes of symmetry and a hexagon has six sides so it has six axes of symmetry this parallelogram you may never have heard of because the m is missing it's a parallelogram and it doesn't have an axis of symmetry and a circle obviously once it goes through the middle it can have an infinite number of axes of symmetry make sure to take these shapes the seven of them into your copies or the eight of them into your copies and just be aware how many there are it can be asked in an exam draw the axis of symmetry or does it have an axis of symmetry so an imaginary line drawn through a shape which divide the shape into two halves that are reflection or mirror images of each other then the shape is symmetrical and this gives us an axis of symmetry this amazing in nature these butterflies leaves this shape here is it on the Belvedere crest something similar axis symmetry of buildings so they come everywhere in nature if a line if a shape only has one line of symmetry this is called an axis if it has two or more these are called axes so such an imaginary line some shapes have no axis of symmetry, which you've seen already, and some shapes have one axis of symmetry and some have more than one. So we've seen examples of these already. So now let's go and look at some questions from the book on axes of symmetry. So consider this following shape. We're asked to name the line of symmetry. Well, let's draw the shape. Let's draw this line of symmetry along here. And the name of this line, it goes from the point A up here down to x so the name of this line is a x and measure the following distances a b is two units so each box here we're considering as one unit a c is two units you can see out here d e d e i'll just roll all the lines out so you can see it a bit clearer where d e is d e is here that's three units p q it's just one unit and XY is two units down here and these are a mirror image over here DF P or and XZ their mirror image that's what I would say here it's a mirror same distance and describe in your own words what a line of symmetry is well a line of symmetry cuts a shape in half into two mirror images of each other and you guys can come up with your own sentence if you want. For each of these shapes, draw in all the axes of symmetry. Note some shapes may not have any, and you may wish to copy the shapes into your copy book. Well, rather than drawing in your diagram. Now, this one here, if this is the middle, I think this is the only one I see. Up here, well, isosceles triangle, how many axes of symmetry does an isosceles triangle have so if you can't remember you go back in your book or you go back in your notes and you can see here isosceles triangle one axis of symmetry so straight down the middle this shape here shape c i'm not seeing anything on shape c equilateral triangle can you remember how many axes of symmetry an equilateral triangle has You've looked back in your notes or gone back in the video and you can know that it's three so draw them in one 
two, three. Point of intersection here. And in a square, you go back in your notes to your four axes of symmetry. One, two, diagonal to diagonal three, diagonal to diagonal four. In this scalene triangle, there's none. In shape G, I'm seeing definitely one along here. Don't see another one. Parallelogram, many does a parallelograph. When we left out the end, parallelogram is none. We have a one, two, three, four, five, a six sided shape, and a six sided shape has six axes of symmetry. One. Drawing a few of them here. There's two of them. Drawing a few more yourselves. We also have J axis of symmetry. Or we could just cut it in half that way, is the only way you can cut that one in half. For K. Well it looks like definitely cut it in half that way. This works for me as well, B through D. That works too, because they're all the same length here. And in I, we can go straight down. It's definitely one. Let's just see that one. It's two. We go this way for three. Draw these, it's the vertice to the midpoint of that other side, there to there, there through there, and so on. So you've got five in that one. In question three, we're asked to copy and complete these shapes using the axis of symmetry. So we just pick a point here one, two, three, four. So I gotta go out one, two, three, four. So you can see where I need to draw, draw my lines to there to there. There to there, so it's transformation geometry. I'm mirroring this point out the other side and it's going four boxes. One, two, three, four, to there. So you can see the shape goes out, comes into here, into the one part, goes out four, so out to here, and mirror across. This one goes out two goes diagonally out two and down four you can see here let's rub it out so we're going out two and down four so we're getting to this point here down to there and then we're going back to the start you guys are going to use rulers in your um copy books when you're drawing these and then this one here well we're, i'm at this point this point is going to get mapped going down five and going down five so he's going to get to there and this guy's going to stay on the line and so is this guy and this guy's going to go down two and down two he's going to mirror to there so if i draw that guy to that guy this guy to this guy and connect my line i've got my axis of symmetry which is like a triangular butterfly Similarly with this one, we're going from here, we're mapping out, just double check, it's one, two, three, four. So we're going to here, one, two, three, four, down one, going back in two and down one, back in two and down one. And I'll just do it again. Trace it from the bottom, from there to there, from there to there. From there to there up one and across and you can check all your shapes are equal if you wanted to draw a line through each of the points you can check that you have it done correctly the star over here well we're coming down to this point you can put your point in and just connect them to then we're going out one two three 
So one, two, three, we're going out to this point. Then we're going down and across two, down and across two will get me back to here. From there to there to there. And then we are going back out. And we're going back out one and down three. Out one and down three. Brings me to there. And then back up to connect. And we have our axis of symmetry. Then the last question here, we're asked, number of axes of symmetry and tick one only how many axes of symmetry does a square have we've seen this already it has four just put a bigger tick in so you can see it a four a rectangle just has two we've seen this already a rhombus well a rhombus we can definitely go that way with a rhombus if we get to the corners my pen is too thick that way is one and that way is another so there's two for a rhombus and that's like an isosceles triangle we've already seen already today as well which just has one an equilateral triangle has three which we've seen already so where to say to midpoint of the other side you should get something like this so that has three and then circle is unlimited our scaling triangle is zero and there was a question on circuit which I haven't included. So nice long video to get you set up for transformation and translation and central symmetry and symmetries.